Welcome back. All week we've been taking a look back at our favorite stories from 2014. Today we bring Rhett McGibbon on to discuss one of his favorites. And Rhett, not surprisingly, it has to do with someone from Canada. Yeah, definitely. Whenever you go back to the motherland, it's yes, always a good course. time. But one of my favorite stories is when Jonah Jabor and I went north of the border and we caught up with Steve Kearns, former Liberty tight end with the football team yeah. and first professionally drafted football player and got to see what he's doing with his faith right now with Athletes in Action. It's Liberty Flames football, 20,000 fans being loud and wearing red, some a little bit more passionate than others. The program's success is reaching new heights, but things were a bit different back in the early days. Just an old field out in the back where the soccer team did some uh, practicing as well, and we had a little barn there that was fixed up. Steve Kearns played tight end on some of Liberty's first football teams. He arrived without much fanfare. I'd never seen the school before, I'd never been to Lynchburg before. I had a number for the football office and that's about all I had. And uh, showed up, called, went down. College football was a new challenge that brought with it adversity. Actually, after my first year at Liberty, I, uh, I tried to get my scholarship changed so I could play soccer because I knew I'd get more playing time. It didn't happen, but Steve persevered and then thrived during his junior and senior seasons. We didn't throw the ball a lot, so my position was really, a, was really a, a key position as a tight end in, in the Veer offense that we ran. And it was always the big plays. And so, you know, I think I averaged just over 21 yards a catch. That type of production led him to be the first Liberty football player drafted professionally into the Canadian Football League. Steve would play five seasons in the CFL, but not before confronting the difficult questions that many athletes face. Do you fit in? Are you going to make the team? And, you know, your performance, uh, the pressure that there is. And so there's, there can be insecurity um, in the sense of, am I going to make a team? I'm not going to make a team. Uh, you know, and then you get injured. Uh, then how do you deal with that? During these trials, Steve leaned on his faith. I remember sitting in my locker uh, in Hamilton and quoting Philippians 4, 6. To not be anxious, like, don't be anxious, Steve. Just go out and trust God. And, and leave it with him and, and you'll, you can have peace because that was a promise. And so I remember having that peace going out on the field and just not worried about anything, just practicing and having fun. His football career ended shortly thereafter, but with it came a new opportunity. Steve and his wife Georgie were asked to join the staff of Athletes in Action, a ministry that uses sports to share Christ. I remember when we first joined staff of Athletes in Action, I remember them saying to us, could you stay for at least two years? You know, and I remember laughing, I was like, man, you do not know Steve Kearns. When Steve decides to do it, he does it right. And I knew back then um, that we were in it for the long run. Steve and Georgie met at Liberty and believed that their time there prepared them for what was ahead. I think going to Liberty, because I'm an education major, you can always use being a teacher. So now I teach God's Word to a bunch of women that um, that are going on a really cool journey with me. Georgie ministers to players' wives, while Steve serves as the chaplain for the NBA's Toronto Raptors, CFL's Hamilton Ticats, and Major League Soccer's Toronto FC. What do we know about the Samaritans? Weekly Bible studies give players an opportunity to grow in their faith. As an athlete, all your physical needs are taken care of, but um, Steve's been there for our spiritual needs, and obviously that's, that's the most important thing for us. And so he's kind of created a, an environment for us to grow in our faith and share our faith with other teammates who, you know, maybe we wouldn't get that opportunity otherwise. We don't have many people that are saying like, hey, it's okay when you lose. It's okay when like everyone wants us to win, fans, coaches. Um, but Steve comes in and says like, hey, Christ is what matters. You know, that's what the most important thing is in life. And that's exactly what Steve and Georgie want to share with the athletes they support. I think their faith can help in being able to just do the best that you can and hopefully not get all your identity from your performance, right? And get your identity from who you are uh, in Christ. Right, you showed uh, a lot of the teams he works for. He's a busy yeah. man working with all of those teams. And those teams that he was working with had a lot of success this oh, year as well. They totally have. You know, if he ever hits Chaplin free agency, he's in for, <laughs> Hot in for commodity. Bucks, but, yeah. You know, you're saying the Raptors first in the Eastern Conference. Hamilton Ticats made it to the Grey Cup, which is the Super Bowl equivalent, and the CFL and the Toronto FC have had a fantastic year. And 
and he's, he's doing some great work. Oh, and, wow. you know, along with that, one thing I really found and appreciate about Steve is just, you know, he's been there. He's been in the trenches. He's yeah. played professional sports. And the way he can make Christianity and just witnessing relevant to professional athletes is great. You can see these guys, they really buy in the FC. You know, we were yes. there seeing them kind of in their Bible study. And he just, he brings it right down to their level. It's Make great. it relevant yeah. for them. And he certainly yeah. does that. Fantastic. Brett, thanks so much yeah. for stopping by. We appreciate it.